Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Look at what I found! A dragon! A supposedly friendly dragon. Unfortunately, also a dying dragon. It seems to be a bit injured. We have been tasked with trying to help it. Hopefully this item that I just bought, this water cloak, will actually be helpful when dealing with those enemies who cast ice against me. Oh yeah, and it should be mentioned that Alice is alone right now. We're trying to find Cersei and we have to do it alone. Because going it alone will allow Elise to hone her powers. Well, I can definitely say that elemental resistance thing I just bought is going to be pretty useful. Although, wow, my attack really has gone down. I'm trying to decide if it was worth the trade-off. Uh, don't, don't do that, please. And there was a charm taking effect. So, uh... Oh, there we go. It wore out. Charm is no joke. Falling in love with your opponent is not beneficial towards your anything. A level up, on the other hand, is beneficial towards my everything. Can I still get rid of these in one hit? Okay, good. Nice to be helping a fellow dragon, by the way. And, more importantly, a dragon who is not evil. Dragons are neat. And it's neat being one. Though sadly, I won't be for much longer. I do not know whether you can die from poison or just drop to 1 HP, so definitely don't want to take chances with that. By the way, no, I am not becoming a mouse. It was fun, but being only 5 inches tall is a little inconvenient. Oh, hey, it actually is possible to not kill it in one hit. Maybe I'll take off of this water cloak until another level. Eventually, I'll be at a high enough level that the detriment won't be so detrimental. So what did I pass by? Juice, money, more money? Oh, heck yeah. Aries Shrine. Am I gonna have to dig around? Well, uh, I don't know about digging, but uh, there's that healing herb we were looking for. Use it wisely. I know exactly what to use it on. However, before I use it, I'm going to make sure there's no random buried treasure around here. Uh, I'm betting there's buried treasure around here. Also a rare item. A super bomb. Eventually, I'll remember, I will remember to use the bomb. Use the shovel? Yes. Time to dig. Huh? There's something shiny on the floor. Crystal piece. Four left. Oh, hey, that quest that I'm not going to be completing. Again, probably not completable while there's a... Uh, until the game is finished. Here, I brought the herb. I sat down next to him and carefully put the herb in his wounds. Definitely like the art. Do you feel better, Mr. Drac? Much better. Thank you. I'm feeling like new. How can I repay you? 
Well, I would say join us, but the entire point of this quest right now is to go at it alone. So, though, if you could just go up to Cersei and preemptively breathe fire on her. Chill. No need to worry, reward me. I'll just follow my path. Won't you want a ride? I can take you wherever you want in the blink of an eye. Well, if you insist. Oh, hey! I just remembered! We saw this dragon, who, uh, is an eastern dragon, during the chapter logo. I climbed on the dragon's back and we set off together to the top of the mountain. I hope I am not missing by something by doing this. There were other paths to take. There is a save file. A save point. And we got a mini game. Well, I'm resetting the game anyway because, yeah, I feel like I did miss some things. Okay, so, turns out, no, I didn't miss anything. The other paths are not paths, and the house, you cannot go into. So, let's go ahead and do this minigame. The dragon is still weak, so he needs some motivation to continue flying. Collect 10 motivation orbs before the timer reaches zero. Alright, there's a challenge that I need to complete. I need to, and I quote, defeat the dragon minigame in under 30 seconds. Good luck! Oh gosh, I have to chase these motivation orbs. Oh, and then I have to... Well, it seemed like that first one I had to physically interact with, but these other ones I can just run into. I intend to complete this challenge. And I did. First try! Huzzah! Congratulations! The view is wonderful from here. Please don't drop us. The soul world is beautiful, isn't it? Hold tight and enjoy the trip. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? Huh? It was me, Sharon, the Dragon of Darkness. It's him, the dragon that fought me. What? He's even scarier than I thought he would be. Yeah, a shadowy dragon with red eyes. That, that, that counts as scary. I'm frustrated you didn't die, but that's no problem. You'll perish here with this red-haired girl. Behold, my true power! Ah, this is bad. What do we do now? Don't worry, lady. My power is still weak, but I can throw a fireball at him. You just need to keep motivating me and dodging his attacks. Oh, this just got complicated. Can you do this for me? Right. Let's do it. <laughs> Try as much as you can. You will never be able to defeat me. Uh, ooh. I was trying to open the menu. See if I could save. You cannot open the menu to save. You also cannot proceed very far to the right. Well, I mean, by that I mean there is a limit to how far to the right you can travel. Actually, well, I was about to say there's an advantage to the fact that I can lure the fireballs away from the motivation, 
which it just occurred to me we're literally chasing motivation. That is interesting. Regardless, we can lure the fire away from the motivation, but that does not ensure that I can avoid the fireballs. I've gathered enough motivation. Take this, Sharon. What? No! Impossible! Ah! We did it! We defeated him! That was close. But we can't let our guard down now. We're arriving at our destination. I can see the broken bridge from here. Here we are! Thank you, Drac! I don't even know how to thank you. No need to thank me. I'm alive thanks to your help. Also, before I go, there's something I want to give to you. I don't need the whole herb. You can take what's left. I'm going now. Good luck. Hope we meet again. I would assume so. You were included in that chapter title. Background. Thank you so much. This must be the gate that will take me to Virtus. Oh gosh. That's the boss we're going after. And I don't mean Cersei. I mean one of the big bads. Defeating him and Hera's other lackeys will allow Elise to return home. I still don't know how that works, but that's what we're told. This door has frightening energy. I need to prepare myself. I completed Hades' challenge. I'm ready for it. I mean, yeah, you did get back up to the bridge. But you had help. The point was to do it alone. Let's go, Marbles. No more going back. Okay, first things first. Quick reminder. Marbles is Elise's plush. By the way, did we know that Virtus was here? I don't remember being told that information. And yet, yeah, we still got that healing herb. Also, the crystal piece we found is crystal piece 4? What happened to the other th ones in between? Are we getting them out of order? Okay, before moving on, because we're getting ready for boss time, let's check Pan's diary, because I'm certain that we have new information in here. In fact, it occurs to me that we haven't even looked at the enemy info for the Violet Forest. So first we got Pumpkin. Masters of Terror, they like to play tricks on the naive. Be careful when defeating them, or you might be surprised. I mean, I was surprised when I got one shot. I don't know what you're talking about when you defeat them. Was that a last resort attack or something? I don't know. Threat level high. No kidding. Habitat to Violet Forest. Power high. Likes Halloween. I bet. Me too, though. Halloween is fun. It is the perfect time to be silly and be accepted for it. Dislikes candy corn. Boo! Quotes trick or treat. Slime. They are gross and also gloomy. The default RPG enemy. Don't underestimate this species. Despite their little strength, they have a lot of power together. That's the power of teamwork. And they have no threat level. Violet Forest, they're weak. They like gloomy places. They dislike water. Quotes. Blur, 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 blur. Bat. Watch out for bats. Some of them might be vampires in disguise. Or just heroes of justice. Uh, so far, vampires in disguise. Threat level low. Hepatite violet forest. Power weak. Likes fruits. Uh, okay. These bats happen to be omnivores. Dislikes light. Quotes, 
Squeak. Already read Yuki Ona. Will o Wisp, aka Onibi. They are evil spirits that roam the forest at night. They are born from the souls of humans who got lost in the woods and now try to find their way back without knowing they died. How how do you, how do you not know that? Threat level low, habitat soul mountain, power average, likes torches, dislikes rain. Quotes Ooh. Now where's our dragon friend? Our dragon friend is not in there. Well, we better see him again, then. We need to add him, add him to the diary. Healing crystal, thank you. And the save rabbit, which it occurs to me the save rabbits are around whenever we're getting ready to fight a boss. Definitely, uh, definitely helpful. And we will be fighting that boss next time. The bad news is, next time ain't happening until next year. I am taking off next week for the holidays. That's certainly rotten timing. Last video of the year, and it's right before a boss. Oh well, I guess that just means that next year we'll be starting with a bang.